We are trying to construct a more inclusive society. We are going to make a country in which no one is left out. Franklin D. Roosevelt As a country, the U.S. has failed to follow this concept as a society, especially for ex-offenders. Once someone is convicted, society as a whole places a mark of banishment on them, keeping them from getting jobs and from being a part of their own community. This fact ruins a person's life by making a mistake that may have been a long time ago. So how can this problem in society be fixed? Well, there is a program that is fighting this problem. Indianapolis Reentry Educational Facility, or IRF, is a program that prepares those who are serving time and are close to their release. In the bridge program at IPUI, my class was going to visit IRF, and this gave me a wide variety of feelings. I felt awkward, uncomfortable, and even a little scared about meeting people who have committed serious offenses. I never really imagined myself going to prison, even for just a visit. It's not like I have this on my bucket list. As a class, most of us were nervous about the experience. So the teachers would tell us they have never had problems yet. But that did not set my mind at ease. This experience involved three of my classes, J101, Speech, and my V100 class. Each had a different aspect on what I learned from this experience. During my J101 class, we would talk about criminal justice policies and mindsets in the area. At one point in class, we talked about waivers in the juvenile justice system. A waiver is when a juvenile court judge transfers the case to adult court in order to deny the protection of juvenile jurisdictions provided. At first, it personally did not mean much to me. Then I met Derek. Derek was one of the residents at IRF and a part of the program that we were involved with called Toastmasters. At the age of 14, Derek was waived to the adult courts and sentenced to prison. When Derek spoke about his life, he was emotional. When he was 14 and homeless, he needed money, so he robbed a store. There were two older gentlemen at the counter, and Derek accidentally pulled the trigger, killing one of them. You could tell that Derek was still sad about his mistake. He had a hard time finishing his story because he was sharing it with over 10 people he had never known before, and other residents who did not know about his past. I was surprised at how brave he was to tell his story even though many would judge him on his mistake. Being an ex-offender is being a person who is marked for life with their worst mistake and forever being known by that mistake. Like my teacher said in my criminal justice class, people have biases. Most people have a negative bias towards ex-offenders which puts them in a near impossible predicament but the thing is, ex-offenders are nothing like what we think. In my experience at IRF, I was surprised at how well the residents could speak. Both my classmates and the residents would give speeches. Now at first, I thought they were not going to be that good at speaking. I have never been more wrong in my life. In my speech class, we learned different ways of speaking and the basics to making the good speech. As we learned about speaking, we also transitioned our practices to IRF. While at IRF, one of the residents whose name was Cole was the president of Toastmasters. The first time Cole spoke, he talked about how society hates the crime and loves the criminal. This speech was one of the best speeches I have ever heard, and Cole used vocabulary that was beyond my own comprehension. Unlike many would think, all the residents were pretty good at giving speeches, and this made me realize they are not any different than myself, just dealing with a different life experience. My outlook on ex-offenders was very negative before, but now I see them as people who just need to be led on the right path, like IRF tries to do. I noticed a similar occurrence with all the residents. All of them miss their families and wish they could be free to be with them. After all, they once had lives too, 
and are now waiting for their lives to restart while we get to keep on going. Many people always told me that the third visit is always the life changing one and they were right. I started making friends with the residents, which made the visits more personal. I honestly got to the point where I could not wait to go. I even learned there are companies who help ex-offenders get a job, like Goodwill. Our country as a whole is being unfair to ex-offenders and this needs to stop. It is up to the people of this country to fix our wrongdoings, so let's take a step in the right direction. The IRF program is something that can fix this problem as well as finding jobs that help out ex-offenders. If we as a country want to be prosperous, then this di direction is what is needed for this to work.